All right, what's up, guys? So, I know I'm probably going to upset some people uh, with this uh, conclusion of 2023. But overall, yeah, talking on the best game of 2023. Because a lot of games came out this year. I will admit... I know that there probably will be other games better than the game that I will be saying will probably be the best game in my opinion, but I'm, I'm just more so talking on my own experience of just all the different games that I played this year. I mean, we still got a couple of more games that need to come out. I know the Avatar game is supposed to be dropping, the day before is supposed to be dropping, and I'm curious about those games. But for now, all right, I will say that the best game I personally think, my own personal opinion, however you feel, if you think that there's other games that did better, that is your opinion. This is my opinion. On my channel, you could go on your own channel, you can make a video saying the best game that came out this year, go on social media, but for me, okay, for myself, I would say the best game that came out this year would be uh, Spider-Man 2. With the amount of content, because I still haven't beaten that game, all right? Because there's other games I've been playing. But that game, I have to say, if there wasn't other games I would be playing, I probably would have played that game, beat it, 100% completion, deleted the save file, started that game all the, way, all the way back over again, because that game is that fun. All right, Spider-Man 1 was good. Spider-Man Miles Morales, I have to say that before uh, Spider-Man 2, uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales would be the best game. But... Spider-Man 2 was literally Spider-Man 1 and Miles Morales combined and some. So my thing is, is like when you have developers that come out with a game, right? They come out with one. They set the bar with that. They came out with Miles, uh, Miles Morales. Then they raised that bar higher. Then they combined them two bars, flipped it sideways, and then they just had it where that bar extended beyond. And I'm like trying to sit down and think... If they come out with a Spider-Man, Miles Morales 2, or Spider-Man 3, whichever they decide to do, I'm like, fam, what more could possibly be added to the game? Where I'm like, fam, you guys killed it with this one. So it's like, I, I had to say, for those that did play, I mean, if you didn't play it, then I would recommend you probably go, because I'm about to spoil something that was an important part that I wouldn't have won. But I feel like everybody would have known anyway. So regardless, I don't know. But I think the only thing that they could possibly do with the next Spider-Man is if they bring back Venom and they have it where Venom um, Venom is a, just a playable character all throughout the game rather than having it where he was just only playable for the levels that he was involved in. Because, yeah, that, in my opinion, that was probably the best part in that whole game was playing as Venom. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> if they come out with a Venom video game, that's going to probably be my favorite game of all time. And if it's by Insomniac too, no, Insomniac, I they need to own the rights to making a Venom game. Because I don't think there'll be any other company that could make a Venom game better than that key part of the Spider-Man 2 game where you got to play as Venom. So, but yeah, just with the amount of content that Spider-Man 2 had, I was like, that that was a, that's a game where I'm like, I'm going to tell my kids about it. I'm I, I'm actually thinking about just keeping that game for as long as I like keep video games and just have it like just play somewhere where I'm like, I because it's a game that I'm not gonna get rid of. I'm like, unless there's a game that can top Spider-Man 2, I really don't see myself getting rid of uh, Spider-Man 2. I'll get rid of anything else before I get rid of Spider-Man 2 because nah, Spider-Man 2 that was half of this sneaker collection. I would literally get rid of it just so i can keep spider-man 2 all right so nah man spider-man 2 is a good game for those that i because i know some of you guys might have a xbox and then there's games that you played on there that you would say was better i can understand that but yeah if, if there is ever a chance where you do get a playstation 5 or if you just know somebody with a playstation 5 I definitely would uh, purchase Spider-Man 2 and play it on e either you purchase a PlayStation 5 or you go over to somebody's house with a PlayStation 5. Or if they have the game, you ain't got to pay no money, just go over there. Because I just, I love the fact that like Spider-Man 2, because I'm more of a single player guy. So I just like the fact that it's like, and I feel like, ooh, I, I think, I'm trying to think. I can't remember if I did do a video idea where I talked on this, but I probably will save that for the next video. But, um, no, like, it, it's just, a like, a, a single-player game where you ain't got to worry about being online to play. You ain't got to worry about no other extra stuff. You can just sit down and play the game and have fun. And that's all that I felt when playing Spider-Man 2. Like, there's, I think there was, like, one time where I had got mad because it was a glitch in the level where I couldn't, uh, fight nobody. Like, I'll be right there on a the person swinging at them and missing all my shots. But 
after um no just restarting the game and uh then yeah playing it back again i was able to get through that mission but other than that i was like it's a game where it had like limited bugs i'm saying the levels was easy to get through the gameplay was fun story was amazing i'm saying it was just an all-around in my opinion a 10 out of 10 game i, I can't think of like no bad moments in a game that caused me to be like i'm not playing this game no more i'm getting rid of it no i'm keeping spider-man 2 for as long as i possibly can until they come out with a playstation 6 and then they're all like oh yeah you can't play playstation 5 games on the playstation 6 then i'm like all right then that'll probably be the only time but if they do decide to remaster uh um spider-man 2 for the playstation 6 you best believe i will be getting in on there too so yeah man spider-man 2 it's, it's just an all-around good game i definitely recommend if you guys have and played it play it okay you will i promise you you guys will have fun with this so and i know i did see some people trying to talk bad about the game like i saw one guy he was all like look at the swinging mechanics in uh spider-man 2 and he was trying to i'm like fam i was swinging through the city they even have that option where you can fast travel i don't think i i don't think i fast traveled not once in that whole game if i did it was just to see what it does but other than that i don't think i fast traveled not once throughout spider-man 2 i swung everywhere i went so yeah and the, the plus it wasn't even though um i think it was an older spider-man game because i think you know how like twitter does like them context um things underneath the tweet yeah i think they were saying like or either it was a different spider-man game or he just wasn't swinging right but i'm all like bruh i played spider-man one uh miles morales and two i've never had an issue with swinging in that game yeah i was like if you just suck at the game then you just suck but other than that no there is nobody in this world that is going to convince me that spider-man 2 wasn't a good game i'm like no there's nothing that you can say or tell me to, to, to like make me uh disagree with everything that i just said in this whole video spider-man 2 in my opinion best game of the year all right so but anyways and that being said i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching like subscribe if you're new to the channel and peace